Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are looking at the Mech Life and Ambitions Vapor Slatra RDA. So here I have it in the black color. So this is a 30 millimeter in height, 25 millimeter in diameter dual mesh coil RDA. It also has squonking abilities on there as well. So you can put a little squonky pin in there and you can use it on your squonk devices. And it also has honeycomb step down airflow. It's not quite honeycomb, it's just holiness. Honeycomb I would say is more hexagonal, but nevertheless, it's got it on there, dual airflow on there. So yeah, what we're gonna do in the review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit, put a lovely build on this black version, then we're gonna bring it up top, take it for a two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. But before we go down to the table, I'm gonna have a quick toot on this now. And I've got it on a very low 54 watts and it is chucking the clouds already. A nice cool vape though. So there we go. So without further ado, I'm going to grab the box and I'll see you down at the table with the MechLife Slatra RDA. So right, let's have a look around the box of the MechLife Slatra RDA. So obviously you've got MechLife at the top. You have an image of the RDA there and a little colored disc there to show you what color you chose it in. This one is the stainless steel version. You can also get it in black, gunmetal, stainless steel, blue and golden. You also got the Ambitions logo down there in the corner. Um, a bit more information about it on there, 25 millimeters in diameter, 30 millimeters in height, 810 drip tip and all that other jazz on there. You've got what the kit includes, your warnings and a bit more information about the brand there. On the other side, a little bit more information as well. At the bottom there, you've got your barcode and your QR code as well as your scratch authenticity check and the top is blank. So let's slide this open. You've got MechLife on the box. I do like the little foil kind of writing on there that they do sometimes. Now this one hasn't been opened yet. This is the first time this one has been opened. So this is box fresh. I've been using the black version. So obviously you've got a user manual here which is nice and detailed. Um, gives you a bit more information about the different colors on there as well. Dual mesh coil clamp star deck shows you how to curve the um, the mesh sheets on the coiling jig there. Shows you how to cut the cotton as well and also some warranty information down there as well. You obviously get the RDA down there. This is the stainless steel version. Let's have a look in the accessories box. I won't be building on this one today, I'm just using this to show you a clean RDA. So this box has got a bit more information about MechLife on it. Open it up like so, and inside you get some canthal um, mesh, which is 0.26 ohms, and you also get some NI80, 0.22 ohm mesh. You've also got a screwdriver for your posts, as well as a coiling jig on there as well. The rest of it in there. So you do get a solid pin on there, some post screws, O-rings, Allen key, and all that jazz in there as well. So what we're gonna do now is take the RDA out of the box and have a look at the quality of it all, the build quality, all the different bits and bobs and pieces on there. So straight out of the box, I've got a little bit of a, a bit of fluff on there. If I get that into a bit better focus for you. This has honestly just come out of the box. Oh well, you know, I can pick that off. Might have been from like a cloth or something like that. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's probably from a polishing cloth or something like that. It's just caught in one of the knurls around the top there. So let's start from the top and work our way down. So at the top here, you do have a blue marble resin drip tip, which is removable. Um, 810 sized as well and the o-ring is located on the top cap side of things on the top cap you have got a little bit of knurling on there it's almost non-existent uh, very very faint indeed but it does aid ever so slightly with gripping this airflow control ring to control the airflow slots on the side here so as you can see the airflow is moving back and forth through those airflow slots there and if you do scroll it around a little bit more you can just close off the top there and if you scroll it around a little bit more, you start closing off the bottom two rows as well. And whatever you do on this side is repeated on the other. Um, obviously you've got the Slatra logo in the middle there, which is kind of like a skull and 
to like they're like hatchets or axes or something like that not quite sure what it is not sure what the logo means uh, looks like a viking skull in the center there like a viking helmet uh, yeah, not quite sure on what that means. But if we go to the bottom there, you've got the Slatra RDA CE bin logo. And I've got a very, very low serial number here, uh, 00025. Now in the center, we have got the hollow 510 center pin, which you can remove by using an Allen key. Now it is ever so slightly protruding, but if you are using this on a hybrid mech that isn't squonkable, then use the solid pin. If you are using a squonking mod, then obviously use the hollow pin. So uh, yeah, let's take it apart, and we'll look down the center of the barrel there. Oh, there's some fluff down there. If, As you can see, on the right-hand side, there is a little bit of fluff. We'll have a look at that in a little more detail. But as you can see, this is the staged airflow down here, and you can see the single O-ring, which holds it all into place. So let's just push that out. There we go, out the bottom. Now, if you look on the bottom of the um, outer barrel here, see that little... Uh, this little indent, or not indent, but the little outcroppy bit there, that lines up with this bit on the deck here. So it aligns the airflow with the coils on the side. Now let's have a look at the deck. At the top here you've got the main post for controlling the clamps on this top. And either side you've got a Phillips and flathead screw for controlling these two clamps on the side. So your coils are going to go in a loop like this either side of this main central post. Now the central post you can tighten up and loosen with your fingers or a flathead screwdriver. Um, but if you want to loosen up with your fingers just go like that. And as you can see, the fluff is caught actually in between the insulator and the bottom of the clamp. Um, but you can see there you've got mech life and ambitions vapor and some dual O-rings to prevent any leakage and just to keep that um, out barrel nice and securely on there. So the sides, just to undo the clamps, you've got to turn these anti-clockwise as per usual. Now they do start off pretty tight once you've got them off. There you go, so your clamp goes in there, or the, the bottom of the coil goes in there like that, and then the top of the coil goes in there like that. Um, and I think that pretty much runs through everything. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is whack this on an natty stand and put a lovely build on there. So right, we are back up top with the Slatra RDA on top of the Cold Steel 100, both by Ambitions Mod. This is obviously by MechLife and this is by EH Pro. We've got the NI80 build on there. It says it's meant to come out dual at 0.11. We are getting it at 0.12 in your face today. 0.12 ohms, we have got it at 54 watts. Airflow fully open, wicked by Swag Cotton, juiced up by the Zeus Juice, Black Ice, Lovely stuff right there. Let's take it for a two. Very airy with the airflow fully open. Um, I might even want to crank this up to around about 60 watts. We got it at 60 watts. A nice smooth vape actually. The airflow is slightly noisy but nothing too bad from an RDA. 
this could push a little bit more. I'm going to go up to 70, I think. 70 might be a bit too much. It is handling 70 fine. I am going to have to juice that up, though. Um, it's starting to get dry. So let's juice that up. Let's take it for a two at 70 watts. Hopefully, we'll get a few pulls out of that. 70 watts airflow fully open again. Seventy watts it handles absolutely fine. Let's go up to seventy six. Starting to get a little dry um, off the hit there, so I think around about seventy four would be absolutely fine. That is really like accentuating the menthols an awful lot out of this flavour. So let's scroll it back down to something a little bit more normal. 66 watts. Let's close down the top airflow there. So if I get it in the light so I can see, I've closed down the top row of airflow holes there. Let's take it for a two. A very nice bit of restriction there. It's not like massively restricted, but it is a nicely restricted direct lung vape going on there. And 66 watts is what I've been vaping it at. Beautiful, let's sl uh, slide down that airflow a little more. We're gonna have it half open, half closed um, on that bottom row there. Not you can pick it up, but half open, half closed more or less. That is a bit tight for me. Let's open it back up just to have the top row closed because that is where I've been preferring to vape this at. Beautiful, time to drip this up again and we will go through my thoughts and opinions of it. So drip that back up, make it look nice and good. Put it back together, give it a twist, just to get that airflow lined up and we are good to go. So what do I think to the Slatra RDA? We'll start with construction. It seems to be very well made indeed. Um, it feels quite solid. Um, the outer barrel doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. Um, the airflow control is very, very easy to move around and the um, drip tip fits very nicely in the mouth. No massive complaints about the construction. Although I do feel that centre post in the, um, in the clamp on the deck there is a little bit fiddly because you've got to do two posts and then the top po the um, two coils and then the top of the coils are a bit loose and flappy. You've got to make sure they're in right and then clamp that down last. So do the side clamps first at the bottom and then obviously the top at the end so you can get both at the top of the mesh coils in there. Clamp down nice and spicy. Um, yeah, as we go into flavor, the flavor um, does get better as, as soon as you clamp uh, close that airflow down. Um, I don't prefer it with the airflow fully open. I just find that a little bit too airy and it does mute the flavor a little bit. But once you control and close down that airflow down on the top line of airflow slots there, it does make it a lot, lot better. Um, but yeah, flavor and clouds are pretty damn good. I wouldn't say this is the most amazing experience I've had from an RDA, but it is reasonable quality. I would say it's around about a seven or eight out of 10 on the flavor scale for RDAs. Now with this being mesh, um, ease of build, um, with this being mesh, it is not difficult to build on, but you've got to build it right. Um, otherwise you will be getting dry hits for blooming days. And that means putting a hell of a lot of wick through the center of those mesh strips there. Um, just make sure, you know, you feel like you're over wicking it. You don't even need to floss it. Just pull it through and let it stick in there. And once you feel that it's quite tight in there, you shouldn't be getting any hot spots on those, uh, on those mesh strips there and you won't be getting any dry hits. Now I've wicked this countless amount of times and I've found the best way to do it is to angle the wicks at the top. Um, so there's less at the top and then you've got the little towels dropping down onto the deck and you've got to kind of push them round the side so that can soak up all that lovely lovely e-liquid so now let's get into price now the price of this on the MechLife website which is mechlife.com is $32.90 
So I think that is um, that's been reduced down from thirty eight dollars and ninety cents. So I think that is around about twenty five to thirty quid over here in the UK. I haven't seen any prices for this over here in the UK, but around about twenty five to thirty quid should be the ballpark figure. And if that is the price that it is being sold at, then that is a pretty good price for a mesh RDA or an RDA, um, any RDA on the market at all. So right, what do I think overall to the MechLife Slatra RDA? Overall, I think it's a pretty nice RDA. Um, if you're looking to get me a new mesh RDA or something like that, just to experiment on, then this may be the one to go for. I think it's built very, very nicely indeed. Um, I do like the finish of it as well. I do like this black on here. It's kind of like a matte slash satin black, but you can get it in gold, blue, stainless steel, um, and gun metal as well as this lovely black here for that um, usual price. Um, so a nice few color differences and whatnot to just to match your normal setup um any cons on this really my main con for this would be the center post kind of thing on there i really don't like having shared posts on rdas whether it's um like poor uh, with coils and coil legs and stuff like that i hate shared posts and this um has made me hate shared posts for mesh coils as well i really don't like that single screw at the top um there should have been two separate clamps up the top there but other than that you know no massive complaints whatsoever so i'd like to thank the lovely people at mech life for sending this through for the purpose of review i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching Dell vapors vape reviews